everyone, welcome to this fly tying video. Today we're going to tie the carrot caddis, which is a caddis emerger pupa pattern. Here I will tie this on a size 12 partridge check nymph hook. This one is the heavy, heavy wire. It has this continuous band, which I really like for, for all my caddis pupa. To start, I'm going to add some lead 3 wire, 0 0.015, and this is to help with the taper of the fly and also to give it a little bit more weight. So about 12 turns or so, I will set this a few millimeters behind the eye and then to help with the taper, you can take flat nose pliers and squeeze the end of the tag. This will flatten it and once you wind it on, this will give a slight taper from the wire down to the shank of the hook. Then thin coat of glue. This one is really nice because it's so runny it will soak down into the turns of thread and you won't build up any bulk and it also will really prevent this wire from moving. Here I already have one down and dry so I'm going to adjust this back in the vise. The thread I'm using is the Nano Silk from Samplefly 1818 Beige. I start right behind the eye and I'm just going to put down a layer of thread down all the way over the wire and down in the band. Cut off the excess. And now I'm going to tie in a tag. Here I have about 10 strands of some Fluor Chartreuse uh, UTC. You could also tie this in with a hot pink tag or uh, some fluo orange or it really depends on how you want your fly to look. So I'm going to tie these in at the back and here you have to choose how long you want your fly. I like it a little bit down the band but not too much. And then to help with the taper I'm going to bring this up and bring the, um, the thread, or this flu thread here, all the way up. I'm going to cut this off once we reach just a few millimeters behind the eye. This way, this way you get a much nicer taper to fly if you would have cut this off here at the back. You would have a bump here. Now this way we'll get a nice smooth underbody. The next material is the main material or the only material for the body and this is going to be some nymph skin from Virtual Nymph. This one is in the color natural which is this slightly yellowish golden color. This one is the 3 millimeter, and I'm going to cut this off at an angle and this will really help with the tying of this fly. Then I'm going to take the longer end pointing down and I'm going to tie this in the whole length of the body the same as for this tag this is to prevent any bumps and to get a smooth taper on your fly so take this down all the way to where you left the tag and then back up again and make sure you really tie this down and to tie down this little tag as well and now we can just leave our thread here at near the eye and then what you want to do is to start winding up this nymph skin and you want to make slightly overlapping turns the first one you really have to pull on it to get it started right and then you can just release the tension a little bit as you go to increase the, the taper on the fly. To, as you go you want this to just slightly overlap to get a nice segmentation. And this nymph skin really gives a lifelike looking fly and it's really easy to tie with so it's one of my favorite materials for, for all fly tying. Then once you reach the thread, 
it off, then we can pull on the tag and cut this off really close. A few more turns to tidy up, then we can quick finish. We're going to continue tying later, but for now we're going to color the body and also put a coat of varnish. So the easiest way is to just whip finish, then do this and then start tying again. For the color of this fly I'm going to go with some brown. This one is called the walnut. I'm just going to color all the way here on the top side of the fly. If you pull your pen this way from the back to the front for each of these segments you will get a lot of color that will get stuck in it and enhance the segmentation in a nice way. And to give the tag a little more natural appearance I'm going to color this with a light brown marker. This one is called yellow straw but you can just use any light brown marker and this will only darken this just a little and then to set the color and to enhance the segmentation even more I'm going to add a thin coat of varnish to the top and this will really bring out the bugginess and all and the, give this fly a really lifelike appearance and at this stage we can also cut off the tag we don't want this to be too long, a few millimeters is enough. Once the varnish is dry, we can then re add the thread. I'm going with the nano silk this time again. Cut off the tag. The first dubbing I'm going to add is some golden olive seals fur. This can be quite tricky material to work with, but just dub on a little. Sometimes it's really difficult to get started, but once you get the first turns going you can then just dub it on as any dubbing and it has this nice translucent effect and also these quite long fibers that will represent legs. And then I'm going to select one olive partridge feather and I'm going to grab the tip with my hacker pliers and this way I can bring back these fibers and just have this little triangle left. I'm going to tie this in right behind the eye. Then a few turns in front. And try not to get any material over the eye. Cut off the excess. And then I'm going to pull back all these fibers. I'm going to fold these over so they are on the same side of the stem. And then one turn in front of the previous one and as you go you want to pull back all the fibers two turns is enough then tie it off a few turns then we can reach in with the scissors and cut off the stem and this here that you're left with it's a really nice material to do some legs on other names, so don't throw this away. Keep it, uh, and you can do with one single feather at least five, six flies. So you could use the first part for something like this, and then the rest of the feather is going to be nymph legs. And then bringing back all these fibers, I'm going to take a few turns in front. Now we have this nice soft hackle color and then the last thing to do is to grab some dubbing mix. This one is some brown UV ice dub. It's some horse ear and also a bit of uh, brown hard dubbing and this is makes for a nice little mix for the head. So I'm just going to take the tiniest amount and Bringing back all these fibers, I'm going to dub a little head onto the fly, and for each turn, I'm going to bring this back as well. This way, you won't have anything in near the eye. 
few turns, the last thing to do with the tying is to whip finish. So, three turns, pull tight, and then on these patterns, I like to do another three turn whip finish and pull really tight. This way, it will never come undone. Cut off the thread with a dubbing brush or a velcro here. We can brush all this together. And here, as you do this, you will blend the three materials together and make it lay back a little bit more. And this gives a really nice profile to the fly and also this nice gradient from the, from the brown to the olive and then back to some grey brown. Just going to add a tiny drop of glue to the thread wraps, this way give it a really nice and secure head. So there we have the carrot caddis. Thanks for liking and commenting. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. See you next time and happy time.